Hello everyone. Women's cricket is buzzing with news 24/7 and Women's Cricket Zone is a one-stop shop for all this news, updates, scores and interesting stories that occur across the world. And for all you cricket enthusiasts, I Chandni compile a weekly wrap up to give you all the week's happenings in high gear. So let's get to it right away. Invincibles of the 100. Over Invincibles are the first ever champions of the 100. The first final of the 100 championship turned out to be an exciting one. Southern Brave, who won a spot in the finals since they were on top of the table, was surprisingly ousted by the Over Invincibles. Marizan Kaf's extraordinary performance, 4 for 9 and a blazing 26 runs of 14 balls got the Invincibles this dominating win. Southern Brave had a tough day being bowled all out on 73, the lowest ever in the 100 championship. Luck or momentum, whatever you want to call it, was just not with the Brave on the day of the final. All in all, the Oval Invincibles were the better team and completely deserved the trophy. Gargi Banerjee named team manager for the Australia tour, Shubhadeep Ghosh, fielding coach. Team India is likely to leave for the series down under on August 29. The last series against England, Rajkumar Devi was the team manager. This time around, however, the BCCI has appointed former India batting all-rounder Gargi Banerjee instead. Shiv Sundar Das will be the batting coach, while Shubhadeep Ghosh will head the fielding department. Talking about support staff, Amok Pandit and Tanuja Lele are the strength and conditioning coaches, while Akanksha Satyavanshi and Tracy Fernandez are the physiotherapists. The first of the three ODIs will be played in Sydney on September 19th, followed by a historic day and night test at Perth, and then three T20 matches. It has been learned that the players are simulating match situations in the training camp, and the main squad is scheduled to have practice sessions under lights with the pink ball for the last three days of the camp. Sounds like great preparations are going on in Bengaluru. Maiden calls for Georgia Redmayne and Stella Campbell. while Megan Shute and Jess Johnson miss India series. Australia too is gearing up for the series with India with an unusually larger 18 member squad going to the pandemic. New South Wales pacer Stella Campbell and Queensland star batter Georgia Redmayne are awarded the national jersey for the first time all thanks to their consistent performances in the domestic circuit. The big misses in the squad are Megan Shute and Belinda Vakareva who have opted out for personal reasons. Jess Johnson will be out due to bone stress injury. Elise Villani, who has over 600 runs in the Women's National Cricket League last year, is surprisingly not in the squad. National selector Sean Flegler said that this squad is larger to ensure coverage across all formats and climatic conditions, plus that it is a good mix of pace bowling and strong batting. Revised Indian domestic season to begin with under-19 one-day league. The BCCI has jumbled the domestic calendar for the 2021-22 season. Even though there's no official announcement, revised calendars that are sent out to the state associations say that the season will begin with the women's under-19 one-day league on September 20th. The senior one-day league will be played later in October, followed by the senior challenger trophy in November. The senior T20 trophy is scheduled to be played in February and March next year. Denny Van Meekerk and Chloe Tryon returned for South Africa's tour to West Indies. South Africa will be travelling to West Indies to play an eight-match limited over series starting August 31st. Making a comeback in the 18-member squad are skipper Van Denny Van Meekerk and Chloe Tryon. Both of them missed the series against Pakistan at home and the series in India due to injury. Recovered and having played in the 100 Championship, they seem to be in full form now. Apart from this, all seems well in the South Africa dressing room since there aren't any major changes. Well, seems like Cricket South Africa have hit the nail with this squad. Catherine Bryce to lead Scotland in the T20 World Cup European qualifier. Scotland has announced a 14-member squad for the upcoming ICC T20 World Cup European qualifier that is scheduled to begin on Thursday, that is August 26. Skipper Catherine Bryce alongside Sarah Bryce and Aptaha Maksud will be joining the squad from the 100. Rainy and Scott are back in the team after missing out the series against Ireland in May. Currently ranked 13th on the ICC T20 board, Scotland will play against Netherlands, Ireland, France and Germany in this qualifying tournament. Rachel Trenman moves to Hobart Hurricanes while Maitland Brown signs a 3-year deal with Sydney Sixers. 
the shuffle in the seventh edition of the Women's Big Bash continues. Batter Rachel Jenneman, who has been with Sydney Thunder in the last three seasons, has signed a two-year contract with Howard Hurricanes now. Jenneman currently represents New South Wales Breakers in the Women's National Cricket League and was the second highest run getter for them. Jenneman said, and I quote, because I have played all my cricket over the last five years in New South Wales, part of the attraction of making the move is to be working with new minds and different perspectives from both the coaches and the players. So I'm eager to learn and progress my game further. Bolo Maitland Brown too has decided to move from Melbourne Renegades, a team she belonged to for five seasons and for who she's backed over 40 wickets. Brown said the opportunity to play with the likes of Ellie Perry and Elisa Haley has played a role in her decision to move to Sydney. That's all the top news from last week. Do feel free to drop in your comments below or connect with us on any of our social media platforms at the rate Women's Break Zone. I'll be back next week. Till then, don't forget to mask up and stay safe.